we have uh, an, uh, an integral. Well, this looks uh, not easy. What do you What do you have in your mind uh, for the say uh, substitution? Say, how about this? Let we get rid of the square root. Let t be this uh, square root x one minus x. Then. <clears throat> Okay, the this is okay. It becomes a uh, ax sine t, right? The problem is this: you have to change it dx in terms of t. <clears throat> if you can change it dx into uh, something t and dt nicely, then we can finish. All right, now then, uh, how to? Uh, t square, right? T square is equal to x over 1 plus x. Then you have uh, x t square plus x t square minus x equals 0. We try to get x, right? Then uh, you have uh, x is equal to one, uh, 1 minus t square t square, okay? All right, then uh, dx, wow, this is uh, a rather complicated uh, quotient rule, right? Uh, square, square. Then this is 2t, 1 minus t square, minus t square times negative 2t, dt. Well, then it's simplify, right? Simplify. Then it's, uh, in, the integral becomes uh, arc sine, arc sine uh, t, and this whole stuff put here, and dt. Well, this, of course, doesn't, doesn't look nice. So, change it. Change your suggestion that how about let uh, let uh, let change it. let the whole thing be let replace this one by say a theta right because this is an angle so let theta be arc sine x over one plus okay uh, the substitution the substitution method is just to, to get rid of our problems we change the variable we hope that we bring a new variable and uh, the inter the integration uh, with respect to the new variable will be easier okay now so this becomes theta the, the problem is that you have to replace dx uh, into theta, d theta. If the result is nice, then it's good. Okay. Then uh, from here, we want to find a dx, right? How to find a dx? Here, this means that uh, sine theta is equal to square root x1 over 1 plus x. Now, how to find an x? How to find a dx? It seems that we have to find a <coughs> cosine, right? Now, then uh, sine square, sine square theta is equal to x over 1 plus x. Then cosine square is uh, 1 minus, right, x plus, uh, that is good, uh, x, 1 plus x over 1 plus x minus x, so 1, 1 plus x, right? Now, how do we find x from these two? 
Well, uh, I think it, we use tangent, right? Tangent. Tangent square theta is equal to sine over sine over cosine. And it is equal to is equal to x. And that's good. That's good. Therefore, dx is equal to d tangent square uh, sine dx equal d tangent square theta. Then this is equal to two tangent theta secant square theta d theta. Um, then, then we replace this for dx. Therefore, integral becomes uh, integral. This is a theta, right? And a two uh, tangent theta secant square theta d theta. Now our integral becomes this. We change the limit, right? How do we change the limit? Uh, change the limit. Well, uh, from. Uh, from which one? From sine or tangent? I think from tangent is easier. When x is zero, when x is zero, tangent square theta is zero. Theta must be zero, right? And uh, when x is a three, tangent theta is square root three. Tangent square is a 3. Tangent is a root 3. Therefore, theta is equal to pi over 3, right? So we, have, we get new integral. That new integral, okay, is not, uh, not that easy. Oh, okay. I forget to mention here. Okay, now how do we find the how do we find the tangent theta equals x? We have a better way. Okay? We have a better way to do this because as sine theta is a square root one plus x. Then uh, we draw a triangle, right? Draw draw a triangle. This is a square root x. The hypotenuse is one plus x. Then use a this is theta, right? And if we use the Pythagorean theorem. This is square minus this is square. Square root is a one. Therefore, tangent theta is equal to. See, this is a much easier to get the x instead of using cosine. Okay, let's come back to this integral again. Now, how to integrate this one? It's not easy. It's not easy. Uh, here, I, well, I think uh, we don't have to bring out, uh, expand this one. This is nothing but, this is a, the derivative tangent square, right? This is, a, so, let me write again. This is equal to 2 integral from 0 to pi over 3 theta and uh, d tangent square theta. Because x is equal to tangent square theta. Therefore, therefore, dx is d tangent square theta. We don't have to expand this one because when you expand, it makes simple story complicated. This is more complicated than uh, this. Looks nicer. The reason, the reason this one looks nicer because uh, we are we are prepared to use uh, by parts, right? This is a u. This is a dv. U dv. U dv. So this is a u. This is a v. So this becomes the now. If write d this way, there's no two, huh? Sorry, there's no two. Dx is equal 
2 tangent x sigma squared theta d theta. Uh, but if we use tangent square, the dx, right? So this is a u, this is a v. The bipartisan says that this is a u v, right? U is this, v is this, v is this, right? From uh, zero to third pi minus v du, v. V is this, right? Tangent square theta, u is a theta, so du is d theta. This is a zero to pi over three. <coughs> when pi equal pi over three, this is pi over three, right? Tangent pi over three is the square root three. So this is 3 minus 0, right? It's, and this one is equal to, this is one equal to secant square theta minus 1, right? d theta. So this one is equal to pi minus uh, secant square integral is a tangent, right? Tangent theta. And uh, this is uh, this is theta, right? This theta, and uh, from uh, zero to a group pi. This one is equal to pi minus tangent third pi is the root three. Tangent third pi is the uh, root three. Yes, root three. And uh, plus 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 pi over three, right? Ten is zero is zero. This is a zero. So the result is equal to uh, three here yeah, four pi, right? Minus over three. So that's that is my answer. Well nice so the the key is this I don't break I don't expand this I'd rather keep ten square as uh, X it is it, 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 much easier to solve the solve the integral thank you thank you for your watching